Hi, how's it going? My name is uh, Colin Finley, and uh, I attended Palm Desert High School from the years 2009 through 2012, where I was involved on a weekly basis with the Grief Group, uh, ran by Tom Morris um, over there. And I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience, uh, maybe for those that are unaware what happens at uh, these grief groups and the impacts that they have on lives. Um, so I was... Uh, about 10 years old when my mom uh, married a man who kind of had a rough history, a rough background of where he was from, uh, a lot of prison and gang and drug related type things going on in his life. And um, at the age of probably about 11, um, this man became physically abusive uh, in our household. And the primarily the focus was kind of on me for a long time. There was a secret going on where I was dealing with this sort of abuse and um, nobody really knew about it. And so for a handful of years, I would deal with this and keep it kind of hidden from my family, um, keep it hidden from my friends and um, just try to cope with life. And I soon found my life getting turned upside down. Um, used to be a pretty strong student in school, started getting in trouble, started failing classes. Um, and overall, my heart just uh, battled with grief in a, in a new way that I had never dealt with before. Um, not necessarily from the loss of a loved one, but uh, through trial and tragedy and uh, the abuse that I suffered as a kid. A few years later, my, my mom would um, move us out of where we were and we'd relocate in the Coachella Valley. Um, I think I met Tom Morris when I was about 13 uh, years old, uh, I think at uh, a Bible uh, study that was like done in the community. And uh, I remember getting involved, and he, he soon would hear my testimony and my story, where I came from, and would invite me uh, to be a part of these grief groups um, at the local high school. I went to Palm Desert High School, um, class of 2012, and uh, as soon as it was available to us, I remember becoming a part of it and having these weekly meetings where we would share our experiences and our backgrounds and um, try to help each other deal with and cope with, you know, different grieving experiences that we've been through, different losses and abuse and um, suffering and all type of crazy stuff and I remember hearing people's story it was a powerful um, experience in my life and it was definitely something that helped me grow um, through my grief and learn how to deal with it and come face to face with the reality of some of the things that I lost and even introvertly look at myself and say you know what what are the effects of these and how do I deal with this how do I become a better man uh, in light of the things that have gone on and happened to me so I'm really gr grateful for the, um, those grief groups. And honestly, my only regret is that they didn't offer it to me sooner. Um, I was a part of a program called, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but Shelter from the Storm. It was a, like a domestic violence shelter out in the Coachella Valley. And, um, you know, I had counseling and I had help there. Um, but a lot of it was ineffective in the early parts of my kind of rescue from that abusive situation with my family. I, I don't remember them having such a heavy impact in my life, but there was something special about having uh, people my age to talk to, um, also having you know, awesome mentors like Tom to, to be there for me, and things extended beyond the club, or you know, friendship that would still continue to this day. But um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share my experience of how you know, the youth group was used in my life and how God you know, used Tom Morris and that whole organization to bless me and to help me uh, recover. Um, tomorrow is, I don't even know what day it is. I have a newborn. She's four weeks old. That's why I don't know what day it is. But tomorrow is um, Sunday, June 21st, 2020. I'll celebrate my first um, Father's Day, me and my wife of three years. Um, we bro both grew up knowing Tom, and um, you know she's been able to be someone that witnessed the impact that he's had on my life to this day. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for listening to my story. Have a good one.